Hello everyone, so today we're just going to be doing a quick casual video and you're gonna watch me switch from the Balenciaga Work, which is a gorgeous bag, one of my favorites, to a smaller, <laughs> what is this? Prada Nylon Clutch, otherwise known as my rainy day bag. If you're interested to see how I do it, going from this to this, stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Caleb and on here you're gonna find a lot of things like luxury shopping, reveals, reviews, unboxings, luxury travel, daily vlogs, pretty much anything that has to do with life and style, you're gonna find right here on this channel. So before we go any further, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up, say hi to me down in the comments, and make sure to turn on the bell icon so that way you're notified when I post new content every Wednesday and Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time. And if this isn't enough Caleb for you, which I mean, hello, I'm assuming it's not, find me over on Instagram Instagram, caleb.snell.designer. Now today I know is a big holiday for many Americans and, or maybe people around the world, I don't know. Could be, probably, I think it is. I should probably know this. Anyway, as you all know, today is Easter, it's Passover. So I'm assuming that the majority of my viewers are probably doing, you know, fun family things, going out to lunch, Easter egg hunts, all the good stuff that comes with today's kind of festivities, if you will. And if you're not celebrating those things, then I'm assuming you're also probably having a great weekend. Spring is just around the corner. It's finally starting to get nice out. It's been sunny here a couple days this week in Chicago, which has been nice. It's still very windy and cold though. Anyway, so I figured, you know, much like the Super Bowl, not a lot of people are going to be watching today, which is fine. I'm not offended. Totally. So I'm just going to do a quick switching bags with you guys. It's going to be casual. There's not going to be a whole lot of editing, crazy stuff. I mean, if there is, thank you, Zane. But he's literally going to be editing this in like an hour and a half, maybe a little bit longer. Anyway, a little bit of background. I am flying back to Indiana, which sounds excessive. I know it's only a one hour flight, but I don't have a car anymore and I don't feel like renting a car. I really don't like driving that far. So I'm flying. I am literally going to put my beautiful self into an Uber, usher myself to O'Hare, fly home on a commercial American Airlines regional jet, and be in Fort Wayne. It's gonna be so easy, I absolutely love it. However, that being said, we all know that this massive, beautiful, lambskin, Italian-made Balenciaga is not gonna fit on said tiny little regional jet. So I need to go from this to this. And uh, we'll see, I'm not optimistic. All right, you guys, so first and foremost, I've already cleared out all of the nonsense that kind of gets stuffed in your bag throughout the week, like the, the pamphlets, the papers, the receipts, the gum wrappers, all that's out of there because that's not glamorous, that's not what you came to see. You're here for this kind of stuff, I'm assuming. Probably, right? Anyway, oh, okay, so this will not come as a shock to you guys. You know what I carry in my bags on a daily basis. You've seen the reviews, you've seen the unboxings, you know what I have, you know what I carry. Not a big surprise. For those of you who haven't, which maybe there's one or two new people here, welcome. I'm doing this a lot. So, real talk, it's 11 o'clock at night. I have to get ready for a large event tomorrow. I also have to pack for said flight back home tomorrow night, and I had to film a video. Yeah, boy's a little stressed and a little bit tired, so bear with me. I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. Anyway, where was I? Oh, what's in my bag? Psh, it's been a week. It's Friday night. I'm tired. Forgive me. Headphones in the portemonnaie by Balenciaga. My chaotic sunglass situation. Versace sunglasses inside ooh, a Chanel case because we love chaos. We have, as always, my last stick of gum in this massive plastic thing, so super excited to get on a flight tomorrow with one piece of gum, that'll be fun. We have the, what is this called? Posh Toilet 15. I am so tired, I just wanna go to bed. I wanna play some video games, watch King of the Hill, and go to bed, but no, that is not my journey tonight, that's not the path that I'm on, so bear with me. We're gonna get there together, one-on-one. -on -one. We can do this, I have faith in us, we can do it. Let's go, <sighs> Zane. Don't laugh at me when you're editing this. I know it's bad. Prada, six key holder in nylon because casual vibes. And last but not least, my absolute favorite wallet, the Balenciaga Compagnon in, oh my gosh, I knew you were gonna ask me what year, season and color this was. And I can't tell you off the tip of my tongue because it's hashtag tired vibes only around here. Love this wallet. Hello, hello, hello. hello. <laughs> okay, this big boy is empty now. God. 
Can we just take a moment and does the Balenciaga work get as much attention as it deserves? Absolutely not. I have a few gorgeous ones on my fashion file watch list. So if you guys are interested in doing a Caleb's top Balenciaga fashion file picks video, let me know. I can put that together for you. I literally, okay, this is pathetic. So when I posted this week, the gorgeous and very highly sought after and collectible Balenciaga first in the flat leather caribou flat hardware. Oh. Hashtag struggle bus. If it wasn't so late, I'd have a cup of coffee. What were we talking about? The Balenciaga first. Flat hardware, caribou leather, $11.95. I literally saw that the minute it was posted because I, I quite honestly keep a Balenciaga tab open all day and I just constantly refresh to see what's new so I can snipe what comes in. <sighs> and a lot of you said, Caleb, buy the Balenciaga first bag. Like, what are you waiting for? I heard you, those, those please did not fall on deaf ears. However, I did just buy, and I'm very excited, a new to me Givenchy. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what bag it is. You're gonna have to wait for the reveal. It's pretty exciting. This is literally a bag that has never been on my radar or my want list. Like it's popped on and off. Like I'm like, oh, that, that's ugly. I kind of like it. And then I take it back off again. However, long story short, the bag was ugly. I kind of liked it. Uh, it was a vibe, but then I'd fall in love with something else and it just fall by the wayside. Well, I found the perfect one perfect for me anyway, bag. And I blame a fellow YouTuber. I'm not gonna expose them yet because this is part of the story time for the reveal, but they posted a completely different bag and by the Rube Goldberg of crazy, that is my shopping habits, I landed on the Givenchy. I'll tell you the full story in the reveal. It's coming in a couple weeks. I literally just paid for it today, so it should be in transit and here by Friday. I am so excited. I haven't unveiled a bag for you guys since like, I think what, February, early March? Like it's been a month. For someone that usually used to buy a couple bags a month, that's pretty good for me. Maybe I'm turning a corner with my shopping habits. Maybe not, probably not. Anyway, what are we doing? We're switching bags. That's what this video is about. Isn't this fun? Aren't you glad you clicked? I am. Thank you. Anyway, let's get into this little tiny bag for my little tiny plane this weekend. I'm so excited. So this bag is just Prada nylon. Very simple. Bought it at the outlet a couple years ago for literally rainy days. And now I have so many bags. If I go outside on a rainy day, I just take my phone because hashtag Apple Pay. Why would you need anything else with you? I've gotten really lazy lately. Anyway, so I've already switched from this big wallet into my Port Valor. I'm probably saying that wrong. Port Valor? Uh, I'm not French. I don't know. If you do, let me know in the comments. From Louis Vuitton. It's the Taiga leather and the Apicia green. I absolutely love this wallet. Of course, it's that bifold style that I like. So let's slide this on in. So with this, with the wallets that don't zip shut, you know what I'm talking about? You can't leave them sitting up because then when you put your phone in, it, it typically does that. So I recommend putting your bifold wallets facing down. So that way as you're sliding things in, it just slides in next to it. Or don't. It's your own bag. I don't. I don't have any skin in that game, so do you. Let's throw in our headphones because it's a regional flight, probably no entertainment. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? So I'm gonna need my headphones. Here we go. I'll need my keys because I'll need to lock up and probably not getting sunglasses in there. It's Easter weekend. Do I really need sunglasses? Probably not. So they'll stay at home with my gorgeous Balenciaga work bag. <laughs> I love you. Um, I literally have one piece of gum, but I'm going to try and smash this entire thing in there. No, I'm not, that's stupid. Last piece of gum. Let's put this in the zipper pocket. How's that? Now, everything in here, all three things, is literally going to be shadow blotting papers. Not flying without that. I am very greasy, I will admit that. Uh, Chanel lip balm, because why not? We need that. And my vaccine card, which you never know. Um, it's just really good to have it on you at all times. You could be at a restaurant or a function where they have to see it and rather than be caught without it, I always just have it with me. Just easier that way. So I will slide all that in there and we did it. We downsized from the large work bag, which you're probably like rolling your eyes, Caleb. It's not like you have that much in that bag and you're right, I didn't. But this is a safe space and I will not be judged. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. You guys, it's late and I'm tired and I have to pack and an event and a flight and a big weekend, I dropped the ball on this one. It fell through the cracks. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I'm very sorry, but you got a video today. There's a, there's a win. We can chalk that one up. I'll be carrying this gorgeous Prada nylon clutch number all weekend. It is what it is. I don't hate this bag. Actually, I like it a lot. It's very clean, very simple, very 90s. I, I, I've watched The Matrix, but I never really paid attention. But for some reason, Prada nylon black always reminds me of The Matrix. 
Is that a completely off base social reference? I don't know. I'm tired, cultural reference. It is what it is, you guys. All right, we made it to the end. That's all I have for you. Wasn't great, wasn't my best work. The, the Golden Globes aren't gonna be calling me for a nomination anytime soon, so it is what it is. For those of you that celebrate, happy Easter, happy Passover, happy anything else that I've, I'm, I've not mentioned. And for those of you who don't, I hope you have a great weekend, as always. And I will see you all on Wednesday, and it's gonna be a much better video. Higher production quality, my director, will have been in the room while I filmed and kept me on track, so that's always helpful. He would have also have set up the lighting because I don't know if this looks good. So until next time, have a great weekend. Happy whatever you're celebrating. And if you're not, happy weekend. I'll see you all on Wednesday. Bye-bye.